All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 9. This is on rules for multiplication of sign numbers, inverse operations, then we're also going to do rules for division of sign numbers, and then just a quick summary. So, let's talk about rules for multiplication of signed numbers. The main thing that you need to know is this. If you have the same signs, or like signs, however you want to say it, Write these rules down. This is for multiplication and division um, when you're doing signed numbers like a negative 5 times a positive 3, things like that. If you have the same sign, you're going to get a positive answer. If you get different signs, you're going to get a negative answer. Now, we'll go into deeper understanding of that. So let's walk through some of them. For example, let's do a positive 3 times a positive 4. Same signs, what's it going to give? Positive answer. 3 times 4 is 12. But what if I have a negative 3 times a positive 4? I have different signs, negative and a positive, so my answer is going to be negative. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, what about um, a positive 3 and a negative 4. Again, positive and negative, which are different signs. I'm going to get a negative answer. Negative, and then 4 times 3 is 12. But what about this? Negative 3 times a negative 4. They're still the same sign, even though they're both negative. Um, and it's going to result in a positive answer. So 3 times 4 is 12. And because we have the same signs, we're going to get a same um, same, uh, a positive answer, okay? So if you know this, it will be just really simple, okay, to answer your problems, all right? Now, let's go on and do, I'm going to take a, a quick um, move over to division, um, and let's do, let's do 6 divided by 3. So, 6 divided by 3 equals, we have same signs, positive and positive, so it's going to give us a positive answer. 6 divided by 3 is 2, positive 2. What about negative 6 divided by 3? We have different signs, a negative and a positive. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, but because we have different signs, the answer is going to give us a negative answer, negative 2. All right, what if we have 6 divided by negative 3? Again, 6 divided by 3 is going to give us 2, but since 1 is negative and 1 is positive, we have different signs, we're going to get a negative answer. Okay? And then lastly, negative 6 divided by negative 3. Hopefully you see 6 divided by 3 is 2. I always answer the number part. And then I ask myself, do I have same signs or different signs? Well, this one's same, so same equals positive. So my answer is going to be a positive 2. Um, and um, if it was different signs, obviously I would put negative 2. Okay? That's just a quick, brief overview of multiplication and division of... Um, signed numbers. Now, uh, let's just talk real quick about inverse operations. Um, let me explain to you what inverse operations means. I really like the way the book said it. If an operation will undo another operation, the two operations are called inverse. For example, think about a fact family. That was the earliest learning of, inverse, um, of an inverse um, problem. For example, um, 3 plus 4 equals 7. Okay, but what is the opposite or inverse of that? Um, we would, what is the opposite of adding? Subtracting, okay? So what numbers could I use here to undo this problem? 7 minus 4 is 3. See how we did that? 7 minus 4 is 3. That's the inverse operation. Let's try times, okay? 3 times 4 is 12. What's the inverse of that? The opposite of multiplication is division. So what would um, break this down or um, undo it? 12 divided by 3 would be 4. You see how we did that? That's an inverse operation. Um, and those are just, and, and you can even do it um, with square roots. Let's, they don't really teach in this lesson, but I think it's important to go in and say. For example, um, Square root of 100 is 10. What's the opposite of square root? 
square in a problem. 10 squared is 100. You see how these are two different, these are inverse operations, okay? All right, that's, uh, that's lesson nine.